guys, it's Alice again. So today's video, as promised, is my Zoella trying video. I haven't actually thought of a name for this, so <laughs> hopefully the title tells you by now. But I enjoyed a lovely Zoella bath with the new Sweet Inspiration range and I wanted to talk you through my brutally honest thoughts and impressions on the new range. And of course, if you aren't subscribed to this channel already, please do press the subscribe button. I am trying so hard to hit 10,000 subscribers and it would be lovely for you to join the little family and hashtag Alice's Army Squad. So let me just talk you through my Zoella bath experience. I laid everything out on the bath and the first product that I put in the bath was of course the bath latte or latte or bath latte I'd say it because I'm from Yorkshire or bath latte I don't really know but I use a little milk bottle bath latte and it smells so good I'm gonna say this a lot throughout this video but the scent of the range I really really like and I know it's got almonds in it and I don't like almonds so I think that's a good sign that I really like the smell of the range. I first put the bath latte into some running water. Now I will say my bath is really, really bad at making bubbles. Like it just doesn't have the power in the tap to make bubbles for some reason. So it probably doesn't do it fully justice of how bubbly it would get, but it created a lot of bubbles in relation to how bad my bath is. <laughs> and I always have to have a bath with loads of bubbles in it. So this was really, really good. And it was a very good tick to start off with. Then I decided to go all out and I added the bath fizzers as well. I really really liked these in the Tutti Frutti range and for this range I feel like they don't smell as strong. I feel like in general the whole scent isn't as bold which is good but I feel like the bath fizzers didn't like smell as strong as the other ones. I don't know but they worked just as well. They fizzed away really really nicely and I don't know about you but I find it very satisfying watching it fizz so I like run it under the water a little bit Pulled it back, watched it fizz, and then I just dropped the whole thing in. I could have used the entire, like, was it six on there? Eight, nine? I don't know, the big square. But I decided just to use one strip. I wanted to savour them, and you can do the same, I guess. You don't have to use them all. And I'm going to make the most out of the money I spent on it. That is my plan. So after I had the bubble bath and the bath visit in there, I decided to wait until the bath had filled fully up before I added the bath salts. I said this in my last video, and I feel like this is still true after trying them. I feel like the bath salts is a bit of a novelty as opposed to anything helpful. I don't really know. I didn't feel any different when I added the bath salts. They took quite a long time to dissolve. I don't know if that's something that's just a thing about bath salts, but I do feel like it is a bit of a novelty purchase. I will say I absolutely adore the packaging for the bath salts. It's amazing and it's so inventive and it looks super cute, but is really unnecessary. And the little bag inside, it asks you to use a small handful. So I'm not really sure how many baths I would get out of that little bag. But it comes with a reseal sticker, which is a good, well done, that was a good thought because they do go everywhere and I was terrified of dropping the entire bag in the bath. I don't know if I'd repurchase the bath salt, I think it's just a bit of a, an extra thing, a lovely thought, but probably wouldn't buy them again. Then I decided to use the bath latte as a shower gel, I think you can use it for this, I don't know, I kind of had a second guess as to whether that was what it's for, but I used it as it anyway and it lathered up really nicely at the beginning, but I did find that the lathering it didn't last as long as I kind of hoped so I'm not 100% sure whether it's used for shower gel I don't know someone tell me in the comments because it was really nice and it did its job and it washed me very nicely I'm used to having something very very bubbly so maybe that's the difference maybe that's why it's called a bath milk and a sh bath latte and a shower milk as opposed to like shower bubbles <laughs> That sentence did not make sense. So after I enjoyed a lovely bath, I literally just sat there for ages and it was the most relaxing thing ever. I'd had a super stressful day and it was really, really nice and the smell was beautiful. After getting out of my bath, I dried off and used the lovely body lotion and I actually really enjoy this body lotion a lot more than I enjoy the Tutti Frutti one because it's a little less thick. I did have this inclination when I did my haul. I thought it was less thick and it's true but it's still the same that a little goes a long way. I made the mistake of putting too much on at first so I only used a really tiny tiny bit of it, spread it all over and it dissolves and soaks in very very fast in your skin and it doesn't leave like a sticky residue because that's the main reason I forget to moisturise or don't like moisturising is because it leaves kind of a sticky residue and then you just feel all like clammy and gross and my hands aren't also sticky either. I've like it's still on my hands and I'm using it as like a hand lotion now so this is good 
My words aren't working today. Great day to film a video, Alice. And finally, just to top off the full Zoella range, smelling amazingness, I use the Body Mist and sprayed that all over. Literally, I go crazy with this. I've been using this for a week already and I've used quite a lot of the bottle. Um, to say I've only owned it for a week and I absolutely adore this. It's perfect just to chuck into my bag when I've been at work after a long day and I'm just spraying it everywhere and it's such a fresh light and I don't know I feel like it just masks any bad smells and it's just like it's just really nice. I love all Zoe's body mist because they have like a really strong scent for a body mist and they're really cheap so it's not as expensive as buying like a £50 perfume but you're kind of getting the same thing for £8 which is like really good. That's it for my little testing of Zoe's products. I am very very impressed in general. I love them all. The only one I probably wouldn't buy again is the bath salts and the bath fizzes aren't as satisfying as they were the first time round but again I really really love them. I don't regret buying them whatsoever and yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't already the video that I put on my channel before this the Zoella haul I'm doing a little giveaway in that so if you want to head over to that video and enter that giveaway you can do. I'm going to announce the winner at the end of the week so make sure you've entered that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye! So today's video is a super duper exciting one. I am doing a Zoella haul of her new beauty range. It smells absolutely gorgeous. 